In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Sisters and brothers, most welcome. This Mass is being offered for the intentions of Kitty Paternod. And this is the commemoration of the baptism of our Lord. Friends, as we prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries, now let us call to mind our sins and ask for God's mercy and forgiveness. I confess to Almighty God and you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, our Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who, when Christ had been baptized in the river Jordan, and as the Holy Spirit descended upon him, solemnly declared him, your beloved Son, grant that your children by adoption, reborn of water and the Holy Spirit, may always be well-pleasing to you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. 
Thus says the Lord, here is my servant whom I uphold, my chosen, in whom my soul delights. I have put my spirit upon him. He will bring forth justice to the nations. He will not cry or lift up his voice or make it heard in the street. A bruised reed he will not break, and a dimly burning wick he will not quench. He will faithfully bring forth justice. He will not grow faint or be crushed until he has established justice in the earth, and the coastlands wait for his teaching. I am the Lord. I have called you in righteousness. I have taken you by the hand and kept you. I have given you as a covenant to the people a light to the nations, to open the eyes that are blind, to bring out the prisoners from the dungeon, from the prison, those who sit in darkness. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord will bless his people with peace. The Lord will bless his people with peace. Ascribe to the Lord O heavenly beings, ascribe to the Lord glory and strength. Ascribe to the Lord the glory of his name. Worship the Lord in holy splendor. The Lord bless his people with peace. The voice of the Lord is over the waters. The Lord over mighty waters. The voice of the Lord is powerful. The voice of the Lord is full of majesty. The God of glory thunders, and in his temple all say, Glory. The Lord sits enthroned over the flood. The Lord sits enthroned as king forever. The Lord bless his people with peace. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter began to speak. I truly understand that God shows no partiality. But in every nation, anyone who fears him and does what is right is acceptable to him. You know the message he sent to the people of Israel, preaching peace by Jesus Christ. He is Lord of all. That message spread throughout Judea, beginning in Galilee after the baptism that John announced. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and with power, how he went about doing good and healing all who were oppressed by the devil, for God was with him. The word of the Lord. Thanks Thanks be to God. be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, Lord. John the Baptist appeared in the wilderness, proclaiming a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins. In his preaching, he proclaimed, the one who is more powerful than I he is coming after me. I am not worthy to stoop down and untie the thong of his sandals. I have baptized you with water. 
and he will baptize you with the holy spirit in those days jesus came from nazareth of galilee and was baptized by john in the jordan and just as he was coming up out of the water he saw the heavens torn apart and the spirit descending like a dove on him and a voice came from heaven you are my son the beloved with you i am well pleased the gospel of the lord John's mission was to prepare his fellow Jews for the inauguration of the messianic kingdom expected and eagerly waited for centuries. His baptism, a washing of the people in the Jordan waters, was an outward sign of their inner repentance and a turning of their hearts to God. Jesus had no sins of which to repent and his heart was always with the God. He was God in human nature but he wished to associate to be associated with all pious Jews and so like them to be baptized by John. Christ our beloved savior began his messianic mission with an act of self humiliation he insisted on on going through the john's baptismal rite which was only for sinners even though he had no sin to repent of he did this firstly because he was the representative of all sinners and he had to come to take away the sin of the world and secondly in order to set sinners of all time an example of true humility and true repentance during the christmas season just ended the sunday lessons from the holy scripture have reminded us again and again of the humiliations christ endured on earth for our sakes The greatest of these of course was the incarnation God taking the nature of man the creator becoming a creature the master becoming his slave adding to this the reception he got when he came among us his birth in a stable his cradle a manger his forced flight into Egypt his life of poverty in the despised town of nazareth where he earned his meager livelihood by the sweat of his brow like the most ordinary men all this was for me and for you but our return was forgetfulness thanklessness ingratitude and even insult his love his mercy his understanding and sympathy are not finite and limited like those of men his love is for sinners as well as for saints it is reaching out to us every day and every hour of the day recalling us to a sense of duty sense of gratitude and indeed a sense of self interest in our eternal welfare friends now let us meditate for a few moments today on the lesson of this gospel reading think of the magnitude of the humiliations and the sufferings that Christ God's son endured in order that we could have eternal happiness our own earthly troubles our worldly aches and pains 
will then appear small in comparison. Instead of upbraiding God for letting them happen to, to us, we will welcome them as his means of making us more like his beloved son. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. My sisters and brothers, to God who has revealed his loving mercy in his Son, let us pray for the good of the Church. Our ongoing conversion of all baptized disciples of Jesus and the salvation of all the people. For all Christians, baptized in Christ and anointed by the Holy Spirit to live as God's holy and priestly people, and for our baptismal witness to God's mighty deeds of salvation, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For peace, reconciliation, and healing throughout the world, and especially in the United States, and for those working for justice and dignity for all people, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For a spirit of caution and cooperation during this lockdown to promote safety for all, and for the sick, the homebound, the hospitalized, especially Connie Wall, Philip Paracol, Kitty Patnode, Samantha Pierre, and for their caregivers, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the physical and spiritual well-being of all parishioners and visitors, for all who have died recently, Jerry Overveld, Teresa Aikman, Lucy Albert, and for all who mourn, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all our benefactors and volunteers, and for the intentions of Kitty Patnode, for whom this Mass is being offered, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the travelers in this holiday season, and for the personal and family intentions of each one attending this Mass, We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Open the heavens, Almighty Father, and pour out your Spirit upon your people gathered here in prayer, that you would renew the power of our baptismal cleansing and fill us with the seal for good deeds. In the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the wine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord God, we ask you to receive us and be pleased with the sacrifice we offer you with a humble and contrite hearts. Lord, wash me my iniquities and cleanse me from all my sins. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all the holy church. Accept, O Lord, the offerings we have brought to honor the revealing of your beloved Son, so that the oblation of your faithful may be transformed into of him who willed in his compassion to wash away the sins of the world, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right and just. it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father. Almighty and eternal God, for in the waters of the Jordan you revealed with the signs and wonders a new baptism, so that through the voice that came down from heaven we might come to believe in your word dwelling among us, and by the spirits descending in the likeness of a dove, we might know that Christ your servant has been anointed with the oil of gladness and sent to bring the good news to the poor. And so with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth, and before your majesty, without end, we acclaim. are indeed holy, O Lord, the founder of all holiness. Make you holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and ended willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope, Michael our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them to the light of your face, our mercy on us all, we pray. That with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint Cecilia and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ, through him and with him and in him. Our God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At this Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, power, and glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. My sisters and brothers, behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, 
What will you say the word? My soul shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Nourished with these sacred gifts, we humbly entreat your mercy, O Lord, that faithfully listening to you, your only begotten Son, we may be your children in name and in truth, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Friends, now let us pray together. Heavenly Father, in these trying days, we humbly seek your guidance, wisdom, protection, and help in regards to the COVID-19 pandemic. That you would grant speedy recovery to those infected with the virus and protection to those who have not come into contact with it. We admit to you, O Lord, that you are the only authority and power to see us through this situation. For we are mere mortal people totally reliant on you and you alone. As your son Jesus taught us, look to your heavenly Father above for all things, that it will be granted unto you. So, merciful Father, we trust in you and the words of your dear son Jesus to look after us this time and every time. In Jesus' name we pray. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. May as he it, go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.